Hello, hello. This is Cherie for Just Nailed It, and this is my docu series, Learning Acrylics. Um, it is Tuesday, and what's the date today? November fifth. November fifth. Today we are going to be practicing on my flexi hand with forms. I already have two on the nail. Um, I trust that you have been practicing your beads, ladies. Practice those beads. We should be doing, um, the, Tammy Taylor says 50 a day. I've heard others say the same, and I just don't have the time or the product to do 50 a day. I just, I don't. Um, I was asked in comments recently what all I need to do, acrylic nails, so I'm going to list those here. Just so she'll see them, and I'll, you know get a hold of her and let her know that they are here. You're going to need either forms or tips. I like forms better than tips. I'm not too good at gluing those on. It's something i got to practice that we haven't got to yet. You need where's all my stuff? Some liquid monomer. I use me a secret. This stuff stinks. They do make odorless. Dabbing dish. I knock things over so I do this in here so I don't, not, or no, I can't knock things over. You need some acrylic powder, some, uh, some uh, polymer. I got mine off of Amazon's. It's called Legacy Nails Professional System. This was like, I don't know, 15 bucks for 4 ounces. 113 grams. Okay, let's see. got to have your, your brush, your acrylic brush. I have a size 8. This is uh, a brush that I reviewed. So that's what I use. I want a 10 and I'm going to save up for getting one after Christmas because right now that takes priority. You need your buff and block. You're going to need some files. This is 180, 100, 180 grit. Your buffing block. You're going to need some dehydrator. This is alcohol. Don't go out and buy any. Don't waste your coin. Make your own. It is 50-50 alcohol and acetone. Then you're going to need some primer. I just got this. I haven't tried it yet. It, it is Yoyogi. And you have to have primer to help the acrylic adhere better to the nail. So, and you need your tips, your practice hand, your flexi hand, your whatever you got. Or a real person, whichever you have to work with. So, I have buffed and filed my nails. I have already used the dehydrator. I have not used the primer yet. But I am going to put the last form on the nail here. Oh, I need that part. Take this part, and because I'm working on a flexi hand, Nikki from Nailed by Nikki showed me, while well, she showed everybody the world, take this, because if you're having trouble with it sticking on your flexi hand, which I do, and this, these green ones are like super, super sticky, take that little tab. Otherwise, if you just want it for support, you can turn it whichever way you want. Ugh. Take these, and yeah, like I said, these are really sticky. Kind of bend to the shape you want to do. Put that tab right under, uh, right underneath the nail. Yep, yeah, you see how much trouble I have with separating these fingers. This is something I do have to practice doing. Just getting these tips or the forms on. This is like so new to me. There. I think we got her to stick. I think, I think. So, yeah. You could probably even wrap tape around them at this point. 
whatever makes them stick, right? So, now I'm going to take my monomer, put some in my dabbing dish. Don't fill it up all the way because you need room. So, dehydrate your nail, you're going to prime it twice, which I'll do right now. I'm trying to get myself set up here. I don't know how many nails we're going to get to, but I'm going to prime all three of them. So give it a minute. These worms do come off easy though. <clears throat> oh, I'm parched already. Mm. So we're going to go into our second coat. Make sure you cover all sides of the nail. There we go. Give that just a minute to dry. Oh. Then get your powder ready. You got your monomer ready. We're going to burp our brush. You do that each and every time you use it. You do this to uh, get the air, loosen your bristles up because the last time you used it, you should have conditioned it in the monomer before you put it up. So let me check my brush out here. I'm going to have to clean my brush after this use with some acetone. I do have a little cup I bought off of uh, AliExpress. You put your brush in here, put your acetone in there, dip your brush down whatever height length you want it in there, let it soak for, I don't know, 5 or 10 minutes. I always heard when uh, doing a set of nails, you should always have more than one brush. I only have the one. I did order, sorry, this off AliExpress. This is supposed to be a size 10. Really disappointed, so I'm going to have to go back on there and say something because that's just me. This is supposed to be a Kalinske size 10. So everything's rubbed off of it except the word systems. Um see this this is not supposed to be how the brush is it's supposed to have some substance to it so that it's not flimsy and it's so look at my eight and look at the ten there's a big there's a it's it's not a ten it's not a ten it's not a ten I know three times I shouldn't say it that much but I can't help myself. So we are going to take our brush that is dipped into our monomer. Wipe some of it off the opposite side of what you're dipping. Dip into your powder. You could either bounce, run back. I have my bead. I'm going to put it at the... smile line so that it's half on the form half on the nail and I've said before anytime you see my brush disappear off camera I'm wiping it I can't 
can't even see here. I can't see. This is horrible. I can't see. Uh, Well, please tell me it sure enough is. Oh, that's the hair out of my brush. Make sure you use the sides and the belly of your brush. Remember I told you before, also, if I'm quiet, I'm concentrating. <laughs> I do have my thumb off my flexi hand. We're going to help this sticks right to the form. I'm going to go ahead with the, um, the middle finger and do the same thing just while this one sits. Hold your nail downwards. Oh, snap. You see what happened? It came right off the whole thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, that was scrapped for right now. Let's work on this one. I think we had something running down to the back. Whoopsie. Ugh. This isn't going well. But I will keep my mistakes in, as you know. That is how we all learn. I do have some dry powder here, which meant... One, I didn't let it sit like this long enough. Sorry about that. Scam likely call. You know what? Nothing to do with those, do we, folks? I think my brush may have some dried product in it, unfortunately, and now is not the time to clean it in the middle of the video. Wipe your brush. I don't let that dry for a mess of throw it really disappoints me. Yeah, products have the form but not the nail. Not a little bit, but not <clears throat> not where it made them stick. So I'm trying to wait for this to dry. Yeah, this isn't going well. This is going to be a big fail. I hate to say that. 
My form has come off. I really like to pause, but let me see where am I at on time. I do need to pause. Hold on. Alrighty. I don't know what to do here. This is not working out well. This is not dry and I would love to move on to the ring finger, but we seen what happened when I did that when this one wasn't set and the form came off. So I guess the title of this video will be, Did the Forms Work? It's not the forms, it's me. I know. I gotta practice more. I gotta practice more. I would love for this to dry, but... Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a while, so I'm going to pause this and wait till this is a little drier, and I shall return. Alright, I am back. I'm going to attempt to take this form off. I don't know, but oh. See, I knew something like that would happen. do I do? I'm going to do like a huge no-no. I'm sure this is a no-no. But, whatever. I did it! So this is what we're going to build on. Not exactly thrilled. I'll leave that sit for a minute. I'm going to go on and build me start or start to build something on this nail here. This form is not exactly on right. Princess D is messaging me. We have a bead. Told her filming wasn't going well. That set. You have your finger pointed downwards. Oops. Play, play, play. Let's sit for a minute. I have my phone here off to the side messaging her. Princess D. Whoops. I'm not like doing anything extraordinarily long, which I probably should to get the practice. These beads aren't coming out big enough. Side to side, brush on down.
We're going to go ahead and put a bead by our cuticle. Put up in the area. So how's everyone doing today on this fine Tuesday morning? Take it up by your cuticle. Pull it down. Make sure you're not going over. Wipe your brush. Hmm, what do we think? Okay, let's see if we can pop this baby off. There we go. It doesn't feel quite done either. Yeah, it's not set yet. I'm going to go back to this finger since we're waiting. It was kind of a fail, but... We'll see. Hold your finger down. Why don't seem to go anywhere? How come that is? I don't go nowhere. Wipe your brush. Yeah, my brush is dirty. Clean up your sides, wipe your brush. A little bit of overflow there. Give me a comment down below. Let me know how blah, blah, blah. Let me know how your nails are turning out. Let me see here. Okay, this one is done. We can jump over here. Let me finish this one. I shouldn't do that. Always finish your nail before you jump over to another. Oh, I just lost my bead in my polymer. Oh my lord. I can't stand that either. You're going for the bead at the cuticle.
Make sure you ain't got none up on your cuticle. Check my time. There. I don't think that's too bad. I'm gonna go over to our ring finger. Get your bead. Wipe your brush. Hmm. Ding. We're going for a bead by our cuticle. Pull it straight to my finger. Hold your brush. Check your sidewalls, make sure you're not going over. There, I think that's good. I think that is good. I think I definitely got product in my brush. So, for those of you that may at the end of this video that need to clean your brush, I do have a video for clogged brushes. So please check that out. All right, our nails should be set. I put my brush away. It's going to be soaking in some acetone for a few minutes just to make sure we get no product. But let me get a pen or a pencil. I think they're all set. What would Jesus do? It's my Jesus pencil. Hmm. I am going to take my file. I got some. Ooh, yeah, do this to your side balls. Forgot about that. Put your side balls. This shows you all your excess products. Holy, let me pull these out for a minute. Look at that. That's a lot of product. I know I should not do this off the nail. So it doesn't teach me anything, but let me clean this off the nail real quick. And I'll insert her back in. Hefty filing to do here this nail.
My hand is going to slide everywhere. There we go. Give me some squared off nail. Then I can work on the cuticle area. And our sidewall. So as you can see, filing does take some time. Any file will be quicker. Just not set up for that. That's another thing you're going to need if you're going to do nails besides the file. And the buffer will be your drill. I think next week we will be prepared. So next week, ladies, have your e-file, your home drills, and you're going to need that for that. So I think we're going to stop near right here. Our nail and our flexi's dusty. She's gonna need some conditioning. Ooh. Let me see if I can get this down. No, I shouldn't do it like this. That's cheating, right? There we go. Yeah, Harley Marie is going to need some lotion, some cuticle oil. After you are done, you take your top coat, if you're not putting any nail art on it, and we're not, for name's sake, heaven's sake, time's sake, everybody's sake, right? If you get too much top coat, wipe your brush off. You don't need a lot. And you want to cure this. Oh, my lamp, my old man. There we go. I got my little flashlight out, which is wonky right now. I'm going to hold this on the nail for a few. Let this cure. Others of you will stick it in your lamp. I would didn't have that out either. Just figured I'd use my little uh, flashlight here. Cure the polish. Call the day for this nail and for our video. If you are new here, please subscribe and click the bell so you get notified of all future videos. If you're already one of my subscribers, thank you so much for being here today. Your presence is greatly appreciated and your support. Love you for your support. Thank you. I do have a docu-series that I upload once a week, Monday or a Tuesday, usually Tuesday, where we do something on acrylic nails, where we are learning. So don't leave me a comment down below saying, she don't know what she's doing. Because you're right. But I say that, I'm learning. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning. That's a no wipe top coat, by the way, from PND. She's got her fall line out, fallicious. Check it out. Princess Nails by Diana. Check out that fall line. Beautiful, beautiful colors. These two nails I shall work with off camera sometime or another before next week. And 
Heavily have, have those shaped filed and, and top coated. Like I said, that is our video for this week. Hope we've all learned something together. I enjoyed our time here. Thank you and have a blessed day.